Take, 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 take. Take is my favourite word, but do you know every single phrasal verb with take that you need to know for the B2 First Cambridge exam? No, of course you don't, because if you did, you would not have clicked on this video, would you? And if you do, and you clicked on this video anyway, then that's a waste of time. And that's a terrible thing. My name is Toby, this is Smash English, and here is every phrasal verb with take that you need to know for the B2 First Cambridge exam. To take after. To have similar characteristics to someone in your family. Inseparable and transitive. <laughs> so Bruce, who do you take after in your family? Uh, maybe my dad. He likes to drink as well. <laughs> oh my god, Bruce, that is so interesting. It's not funny, Monica. He had a problem. Okay, yeah, whatever. I take after Beyonce. <laughs> uh, she's in your family. Well, no, not literally, but I think we're on the same, like, spiritual level, if you know what I mean. Like, she's a single lady, I'm a single lady, uh-uh-oh, you know? <sighs> you usually take after people that are above you in your family. For example, I cannot take after my brother because my brother is younger than me and I came before him and not after him. However, if my brother is older than me, then I can take after him because I came after him and not before him. Yeah. So, if you were your child, or your grandchild, or your younger sibling, would you want to take after you? I would, because obviously I'm great, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> to take back. To retract a statement. Separable and transitive. No, actually, Bruce, I take it back. I don't take after Beyonce. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, no. Like, I take after me, myself. Like, I think in this age of, like, social media and stuff, it's really important to not follow others, but to maintain your unique brand and identity. Like, I'm all about self-expression. Often you take something back if you say something offensive to someone that you regret saying. But I don't want to say it. Just do it. But I don't want to. Do it and I'll give you a job. No. Oh, Monica, you smell like an old cabbage. <laughs> oh my god, what did you say? <laughs> I'm sorry, I take it back. <laughs> to take down. To write information. Separable and transitive. A woman's life, a woman's ways. By Monica. I was born into an incredibly wealthy family, but despite the fact that I was surrounded by riches, celebrity, elegance, I've stayed incredibly humble. Uh, Jude, are you taking this down? Yes, Monica. I'm taking it all down here. Continue. In fact, I would say that I'm like the most humble girl that ever lived. Most humble girl ever. Yes. Duke, is this good? Like, is this gonna sell millions of copies around the world? Is this good? <laughs> oh my god, no, you idiot. Don't take that down. That was a question. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, Monica, this is great. <laughs> oh my god, I always knew I could be a writer. I'm so talented. In lessons, you take down notes to help you remember things. Yeah. So, take down all of this information to help you remember every single phrasal verb that you need to know with take for the B2 First Cambridge exam. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Woohoo! Fun. To take in. Definition 1. To understand and absorb information. Separable and transitive. When she told me the bad news, I was so shocked, I couldn't take it in. I found it difficult to take in what the professor was saying. It was too complicated. And do you know what is a lot for me to take in? My admiration for Eva, Sasha, Dimitri, Ma, Anna, Unicorn, <laughs> that's a horn, Divul Diana, and the magnificent Anna B. They all donated to my channel. Oh my God, they did what? 
they donated to the channel. Wow, Toby, that is great news. I am struggling to take it all in. If you feel like I have helped you with your B2First Cambridge exam preparation, then please do consider donating like these lovely people did. Money does not grow on trees, and even if it did, I would not be able to grow it because I'm incredibly ignorant. So please help me continue helping people like you by supporting the channel. The links will be in the comment section and the description as always. Thank you so, so much. Definition 2. To be tricked or scammed by someone. Inseparable and intransitive. Ciao, ciao. Monica speaking. Oh, oh my god. Danny, is that you? Yes, Monica. I just wanted to say that I love you and I miss you and I would like to see you tonight. Oh my god, really? This is like the best day of my life, Johnny. I never thought you'd come back to me. Johnny, I'll meet you at the bar. Our bar. You know, where we first met all those years ago. Are you joking? It was that easy. Oh my god, it's happening. Stay calm, Monica. Stay calm. Oh my god, Johnny, I can't wait to see you. This is so exciting. Well, babe? Oh, Monica, it's Duke. Where are you? I'm not sure when you first met Johnny. Ew, oh my god, you, what are you doing here? Bruce said you would be there waiting for Johnny, but he's not coming, so I thought that we could go on a date instead. Oh my god, no! Oh my god. Oh no. Monica has been taken in by Bruce. How humiliating. To take off. Definition 1. To describe a plane leaving the ground. Inseparable and intransitive. Do I really need to provide an example here? Uh, okay, well, here is a plane and it is taking off. Yeah, what do you want? Definition 2. To become successful. Inseparable and intransitive. If something takes off, it becomes popular, it becomes successful, it goes up like a plane and eventually becomes a star. <laughs> like me, 16,000 subscribers after two years, thousands of pounds of investment, thousands of hours of work and no income. And what the hell am I doing with my life? <sighs> yeah. To take on. Definition 1. To hire employees. Separable and transitive. You have a business because you are a business person. But you cannot do all the work yourself, can you? No, no you cannot. So what do you do? You employ people. You take on employees. Yeah, like us. Definition 2. To challenge or compete with someone. Separable and transitive. You know that song, right? <laughs> Take on me by Aha. Classic, yeah? No? No? All right, fine, whatever. You can take on a challenge, and this means to accept a challenge that will be very difficult. For example, he took on the challenge of eating 100 starfish. And that is a lot of starfish to eat. You can also take on a person, and this means to challenge them physically with your muscles. And seriously, you would not want to take me on. <laughs> you would not want to physically fight me. No, 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 no. I am incredibly tough and strong. You could also take on someone mentally, like in a mathematics competition. And also with mathematics, I'm very, very powerful. <laughs> I know every single number ever. Definition 3. To take responsibility for something. Separable and transitive. Bruce, you're still drinking. Uh, Toby, I took this job on on the condition that beers be brought to me when I command and I may drink as much as I please when I feel like I need to. Okay, sure, but you still need to do the job I took you on for, Bruce. Toby, I think that you will find that we have used the phrasal verb take on twice. Now, right? Ah, genius, mate, and that is why you took me on. <laughs> to take over. Definition one. To take a responsibility from someone else. Separable and transitive. Toby, I was thinking, like, 
If you die, what will happen to Smash English? Oh, that's easy, Monica. Smash English will die too, with me. Uh, no, it won't. I'll take over. Uh, no, you won't. Uh, yeah, because I'll take over. <laughs> but obviously, I'm gonna change the name. <laughs> English with Monica. <laughs> Bruce, you can, like, uh, clean or something. <laughs> oh, you've cut your finger? That's terrible. Don't worry, I'll take over the cooking from you. <laughs> Definition 2. To conquer land. Separable and transitive. This is usually violent, so let me give you some advice. If you see some land that you want, try not to take it over. Ask nicely for it, and maybe they will give it to you. But don't take it over, because then maybe people will die. And that's really, really sad. The insurgents have successfully taken over the capital. Oh, those bloody insurgents, eh? <laughs> I told them not to, but they just would not listen to me. To take up. To start a new hobby. Inseparable and transitive. Hi, Bruce. Hello, Monica. I have taken up a great hobby. Oh, really? What is it? I have taken up watching Smash English every day for two hours. Oh, really? That sounds great. I might take that up too. Yeah, it is awesome. Okay, bye, Monica. Goodbye, Bruce. Did I do, did I do good? Did I do okay? <laughs> and with that, we are finished. Now you know every single phrasal verb with take that you need to know for the B2First Cambridge exam. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below. My name is Toby, and this was Smash English. Mm -hmm.